We can add a line for the trunk, a little bit for the ground. And that's an umbrella stroke tree. In addition to the umbrella stroke, there are all kinds of other lines that we can use to create uh, the effect of vegetation. For example, we can use the bubble stroke, what I call a bubble stroke, or a little C stroke, backward C in some cases, which is just made by bringing the, the pen out and around, out and around, out and around, like this, and then adding it together with other little bubbles, C's, to create little clumps. We just keep going, adding a little density here and there for shadow, letting a little white come through all the time, wanting to leave a little bit of white for light to come through. When we get to some point or other, we can add a little trunk, and there we have a tree, a little bubble letter, little bubble C curves for ground cover. And we're done with that. We can use jagged lines the same way. Just keep turning in on itself over and over again. Finally, I'll use heavy lines for some outlines and other elements, especially architectural features that need emphasis and to be brought forward from the paper. If, for example, if we have a square that represents some architectural feature, see we're using overlap corners, we can take the heavy line, add a shadow. There, we can heavy up the other line here to create a heavier outline that then brings this feature forward. And you notice also that there's a little white line in here too, another, another implied line. Notice that very few of these lines are squiggly lines, like so. But they have definite turns and corners, somewhat like the way a tree grows. Even the umbrella stroke has a, a noticeable turn to it, and at points there are little puddles of marker that build up. This is part of uh, working with an expressive line and gives more energy and emotion to the things that we're working with.